Welcome to Kid Guide. Today we're in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. At the Franklin Institute. Come on, let's go. Interesting shows in the Stern Science Auditorium. Let's see what's going on now. Hey, Brittany. Hello. Hey, Matt. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Well, welcome to the Franklin Institute. My name is Molly, and I thought one of the greatest things we could do today is talk about the science of fireworks. Have you guys ever wondered how fireworks work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, we talk about that here through a program we run in the summer. Hey, Molly, what's that thing over there? Well, this is what the inside of a firework called an aerial display would look like. And pretty much that's the big explosion in the middle. Spreads everything else across. So what parts of fireworks do you like? I love colors. Mm -hmm. How do you make the color? Well, did you ever wonder what chemistry was useful for? Yeah, well, it's all about this. Because the colors are made by what these black balls represent. They're called stars. Even better, each star is packed full of a different chemical that burns a different color. So when this bursting charge in the center that's packed full of explosives explodes, lights all of the stars on fire, spreads them across the sky. Have you ever noticed sometimes you see shapes or designs like flowers? Yeah. It's easy. All they do is pack those stars in that design inside the firework shell. Except when they're packing it on the ground, they pack them upside down and backwards. So when it launches in the sky, the picture will appear right side up and frontwards. I thought maybe to show you really how these colors are made, we should explode some balloons with all the different chemicals in it. You ready? Oh yeah. All right, great. Let me get our first balloon. Now our first balloon, it's filled with a gas called hydrogen and a little bit of oxygen. That's what's going to make the explosion when we light it on fire. But as you can also see in here, that salt in there, it's called KCl or potassium chloride. And it's going to make a really pretty color. You ready? Mm -hmm. Who wants to go first? I will. You can. <laughs> All right. So just in case, safety comes first. Both of you put on some goggles and earmuffs for your ears. Go ahead. I have some for me, too. And then one of our most famous props, it's called a chicken stick. And by the end of this, hopefully you'll know why we call it a chicken stick. So grab onto that for me, Matt. And we're both going to stand back here, but I'm going to light the end of your chicken stick. And all you want to do is hold all the way at this end. And then on the count of three, gently touch it to the side of the balloon. And we'll see what color potassium chloride burns. So are you ready? On the count of three, slowly, sir. One, two, three. Nice. So what color did you see potassium chloride burn? Did you blink? No? I blinked. What color did you see? I blinked. You blinked? I blinked. I looked away. <laughs> I looked away. Well, it makes this kind of pretty purplish, pinkish color. But the next one, even better. It still has the hydrogen and the oxygen, but this one, again, another salt. L-I-C-L, or lithium chloride. Brittany, it's your turn, I know. Go ahead, trade the chicken spot. Switch spits, here you go. And trade places with Matt, ma'am. It'll be okay. That's why we call it a chicken stick. Stretch, one, two, three. Nice, did you guys notice what color lithium chloride was? It was like a reddish color. Yeah, it's kind of this reddish pinkish fuchsia color, but we still have two to go, so stay right there. The next one still has the hydrogen stuff, still has the oxygen stuff, still will explode, but it also has BASO4, or barium sulfate. So Matt, I believe it is your turn. We'll leave the last torture for Brittany. All right, stay right there, all the way at the end. And on the count of three, one, two, three. What color did you notice that was, Brittany? It looked kind of red to me, but I don't Sometimes know. you can see a little bit of the fire color when it first starts burning. Yeah. But what color did you see? I think I saw green. Yeah, it's kind of like this cool lime greenish color, right? All right but the last one, by far the best one. And it's going to answer one of the big questions a lot of people have about fireworks. Right over here, still has that hydrogen, still has that oxygen, but this one has magnesium in it. And magnesium is a flammable metal, so it makes a pretty cool effect. And we'll leave this one for Brittany to do. So go ahead, earmuffs back on, Miss Brittany. You ready, Matt? Give us a count from five. Five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Go for it. Zero. So did you ever wonder what all those little sparks in the fireworks were made from? Yeah. Magnesium's the answer. So that's just a little bit of what we covered during the Science of Fireworks. It was really nice meeting you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. See you later. I gotta run. See ya. Bye. That was so cool. cool.